All cells obtain the oxygen and nutrients they require to survive from nearby blood vessels. Every cell is located no further than the mean oxygen diffusion distance of 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters from a blood vessel. Tumor cells also need a blood supply to grow. Without this, solid tumor growth is limited to about 2 millimeters, or approximately 100 to 300 cells. Small tumors such as this may lie dormant at this size for months or even years. In order to grow, tumors need to have their own blood vessel supply. The formation of new tumor blood vessels is a process known as angiogenesis. The process begins when tumor cells secrete a number of angiogenic factors known as vascular endothelial growth factors or VEGFs. These factors or ligands bind to and activate the VEGF receptors on the surface of the cells that line the nearby existing vasculature. Three receptors have been identified. VEGF receptors 1 and 2 are found on the endothelial cells of blood vessels, while VEGF receptor 3 is on the endothelial cells of lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels help drain interstitial fluid from tissue and are a potential route by which cancer cells metastasize. The resulting new vessels that grow into the tumor are crooked and fragile with little smooth muscle support and are more permeable than normal blood vessels. As angiogenesis facilitates the tumor's ability to grow and spread, the inhibition of this process is a target for effective cancer therapy. The cascade of events that leads to angiogenesis starts when tumor cells release vascular endothelial growth factors. A number of growth factors have been identified that bind to and activate the VEGF receptors on the nearby blood and lymphatic vessels. On the blood vessels, VEGF A and B and PLGF bind to VEGF receptor 1, while VEGF A, C and D bind to VEGF receptor 2. VEGF receptor 2 is considered to be the most important receptor in the process of angiogenesis. On the endothelial cells of the lymph vessels, VEGF C and D bind to VEGF receptor 3, stimulating lymphangiogenesis. VEGF binding causes dimerization of receptors, and this activates the receptor's intracellular tyrosine kinase domain, and autophosphorylation takes place. Autophosphorylation attracts molecules that are crucial for downstream signaling that leads to angiogenesis and lymph angiogenesis. New blood vessels are formed that grow towards the cancer cells in the tumor. The tumor now has its own supply of oxygen and nutrients, allowing it to grow in size. In addition, cancer cells can spread to distant sites in the body through the newly created, highly permeable blood vessels. Monoclonal antibodies have been developed that are effective in binding with certain VEGF ligands. Most notably, VEGF A, enabling the inhibition of angiogenesis mediated by this ligand. However, inhibition of VEGF signaling induced by other ligands may not be inhibited by these agents. AstraZeneca is evaluating a selective VEGF signaling inhibitor that targets the intracellular tyrosine kinase domain of all three VEGF receptors, independent of the activating ligand. Blocking the effects of dimerization, inhibiting phosphorylation, prevents the signal transduction that leads to angiogenesis and lymph angiogenesis. In the absence of a blood supply, the tumor cannot grow further. In addition, there is no pathway for the cancer cells to metastasize. An orally available small molecule VEGF signaling inhibitor is currently undergoing evaluation in clinical trials in non-small cell lung cancer, colorectal cancer, and recurrent glioblastoma. Work is also ongoing to evaluate activity in a wider range of other tumors to help assess the potential role of this VEGF signaling inhibitor in the treatment of cancer.